bless you, Father. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. We give you all the praise, oh God. Have your way, God. Bless you, Lord God. Praise your holy name. Jesus, exalt you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you all the praise, oh God. You're worthy, Lord God. We love you, God. Bless your name, Jesus. Move, God. Heal, God. Our land, God. Heal our nation, God. Bring us together, God. By your spirit, God. By your love, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We bless you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Just waiting for someone to come on in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God that the Spirit of God will move. Glory to God. Hallelujah, God. We surrender ourselves to you, O oh God. Mighty Jesus. Mighty God. Holy Spirit, move today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to God. Lord, we bless your name. We're going to go into a word of prayer, saints of God. This is Bishop Terrence Campbell of Global Life Changing Ministries International. Amen. Just want to release a word of encouragement for everyone tonight. In times like these, we must make sure that our faith is built on the solid rock. Amen. Who is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Glory to God. Glory to God. In perilous times as these, saints of God, we have to put our trust in him more than ever. The Bible said we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Glory to God. We don't hold weight on what we see in the natural, but we hold weight on the spirit of the living God. Amen. We put our trust in him. Holy Spirit, we thank you for guidance in this Bible study, this word of encouragement on tonight, God. Have your way, God. Empower your people, God. Strengthen your people, God. Build us up where we've been torn down, God. I come against the spirit of fear. I come against the spirit of worry. I come against the spirit of doubt, God. Spirit of confusion, division, strife, envy, and jealousy, God. Come against the spirit of racism, God. I thank you that we are one in you, God. Hallelujah. And we just thank you for having your way on this uh, Facebook Live tonight, God. Holy Spirit, heal tonight. Heal every troubled mind and broken heart, God. Mend everyone, O oh God, O oh God, as we put our trust in you, God, have your way. Be lifted up, O oh God, be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Glory to God. Lord, we love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Saints of God, it's a blessing to be able to come with you, come to you tonight. Amen. Just want to encourage you. Glory to God. With all the things that's taken place in this nation, even the world, glory to God. We must stand, amen, and we must make, glory to God, uh, 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 God to be known more than ever. Glory to God. As I said before, racism is not a person. It's a spirit. The Bible said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual weakness in high places. Glory to God. And the only thing that can overcome a demonic spirit is the spirit of God. Glory to God. If, hear me, if we didn't need the spirit of God, Jesus wouldn't say, I would leave you, leave you comfortless. But I'm sending the comforter, the paracletus, the one who comes alongside to aid and to strengthen. We need the power of the Holy Ghost, saints of God, because we're... Without the Spirit of God, we're powerless. Glory to God. Acts 1 and 8 says, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Glory to God. And we want God to just fill us afresh tonight. Glory to God. Tonight, I just want to encourage you, coming from uh, the book of Isaiah, the 40th chapter, beginning at the 28th verse through the 31st verse. Glory to God. And the word of the Lord reads this. It says, Has thou not known, has thou not heard the Lord, the God, the creators of the end of the earth, fainted not, neither is he weary. Saints of God, fainting comes when you have become overloaded and overcharged. Glory to God, and you just pass out because you cannot deal with what is before you. God never faints. 
God never fails. Glory to God. God knows everything. And even here, when things are out of our control, God still has it under control. These times that we are living in is in the word of God. We are living in perilous times, saints of God. This world has been turned upside down, saints of God. And hear me. In, in, instead of violence, saints of God, we must get on our face in warfare, in prayer, in repentance. Glory to God. If we want God to move, we need to ask God to forgive us. Amen. And position ourselves in right standing with God, saints of God. We need God to move. We need God's mercy. We need God's favor like never before. Glory to God. It goes on and says this. He fainted not, neither is he weary. God don't get tired, for there's no searching of his understanding. He give it power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall utterly fall. But the Bible says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Glory to God. They shall mount upon wings as eagles. They shall one and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Glory to God. From that very last verse, amen, the 31st verse of the 40th chapter of Isaiah, I want to take talk on a topic tonight, waiting on the Lord. Glory to God. Everyone know that we all get impatient when we wait on something and it don't come as fast as we want. We like to do, make sudden moves. Glory to God. We, we try to do something to make something happen. Glory to God. But when God has a time, hear me, saints of God, for us, amen, we have to wait on God. Glory to God. Because his timing is perfect. Amen. And God would not release something, hear me, prematurely for us. Glory to God. Because he wants us to have the best. Glory to God. And how many know that sometimes impatience will cause us to get in a hurry and we mess things up? Glory to God. Because sometimes we can get so fast and doing something and doing this and doing that. And, it, and we don't think about what we're doing because we become spontaneous. Amen. Instead of uh, waiting for, to make the proper and wise decision, we just react to something. Glory to God. And we do more damage than good. The word wait means to stay where one is or delay action until a particular time or until something else happens. Glory to God. When we wait on God, hear me, saints of God, we're in a still position, hear me, but we're not, we're not just being still, being uh, uh, stagnant, doing nothing. We're praying, we're fasting, we're waiting on God to give us the release. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hear me. Waiting takes patience. And so when we wait on God, hear me, we become patients. God is doing something within us. He's delivering us. There's a work that's going on on the inside. Hear me, that God wants to bring forth a manifestation on the outside. Glory to God. Uh, uh, waiting, it builds, it molds our character. Glory to God. It builds our faith. The Bible said, for the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, but he that endured until the end shall see God. Glory to God. Hear me. It's not how fast you run the race. You got to make sure you're able to endure. I remember when I was running in, in uh, track, glory to God, in high school, um, my coach had me run a mile, glory to God. And I never get this, never practice for the mile, but all the other uh, opponents, they had practiced. And I was started out, I was running ahead of everybody, running fast ahead of everybody, not realizing, get this, I had four laps around that track. I had first place, the first lap, first place, the second lap, the third place. Get this on the third lap. I start backing, backing down because I was not, get this, did not practice for it and wasn't able to endure. And then at the beginning of the fourth lap, when I crossed the finish line, starting my fourth lap, get this, I pulled on over because get this, I had no endurance. Glory to God, because I didn't practice. I wasn't prepared. Hear me. When we are not prepared, get this, we set ourselves up for failure. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I want to say this. It, it says, he said, but but give power to them that that uh, that that, um, that uh, the Lord is not weary. He, do, he doesn't get tired. Hear me. Weariness comes when there's an exertion of strength. When you become tired, when there's an action taking place, and get this, I realize this, that when you work yourself so much, hear me, and you become so tired, you are very irritable. 
you easily uh, irritated. You easily frustrated. Why? Because what you have been given out, hear me, it has not been replaced. Glory to God. And so you got to have downtime. You got to have time, get this, to be able to rest and to recuperate, to restore. Hear me. David said this. He said, my cup runneth over. Hear me. We should never give out of a full cup. Because if you keep pouring out of a full cup, you're going to run empty. But you pour out of the overflow. Glory to God. You pour out of the overflow. Because if there's overflow, get this, means that there's a continued feeling. God is continued filling you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's continually renewing your strength. Hear me. You can't renew something if it has never been there. Glory to God. That's a word for someone. Glory to God. We need God to renew us. We need God to revive us. And hear me. How do you revive something? It first has to be alive. Then it dies. Then there's come reviving, a renewing, a renewing or restoration of life or strength. Glory to God. And so many times we keep on pressing our way. Get this. Because so many people expecting so, so much of us. Glory to God. And we don't want to let people down. But get this. But we wear ourselves out. Glory to God. And so we have to get back, hear me, take time to be able to recuperate. That means to regain the strength that you've lost. Hear me, even Jesus, there was time when Jesus was ministering and Jesus said, come on, let's go to the other side and take rest. Get this, why? To show us, get this, you cannot be so focused, get this, on ministry, hear me, that you lose your connection with God. That's a word for someone. Hallelujah. We get so focused on the work, but we don't stay sharp with God, stay in tune with God because we need God to lead us. We need God to guide us. We need God to order our steps each and every day. And the enemy, get this, will have you going to and fro. Get this, but not accomplishing anything. Hear me, if you're not directed by God. The Bible said for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Glory to God. And we need God to lead us. We need God to direct us. We need God to order our steps. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, get this, there could be a, a, a trouble up ahead. And if we're not sensitive to the spirit of God, get this, the enemy can take us out. Glory to God. Or cause, get this, unnecessarily, unnecessary harm that could have been avoided if we had been sensitive to the spirit of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I learned this, saints of God, that the more we pray and we spend time with God, the clearer his voice become. Glory to God. So the more we spend time with God, the closer we become to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so the more riches, the more mysteries that God releases unto us, saints of God. Glory to God. James 1 and 4 says this, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and in Glory to God. The main reason, get this, why we impatient, get this, is because we used to getting what we want when we want it. Glory to God. We've been spawned. Glory to God. Just like a child, when a child doesn't get what he wants, he throws a temper tantrum, he gets upset. But you got many people that are adults that are still throwing temper tantrums because they want it their way. And when they don't get it their way, they get mad. They suck. They, they go left. Glory to God. Glory to God. God doesn't do what we want all the time. He does what's necessary for the ministry. Glory to God. For our walk, for the calling. Glory to God. For the perfecting of the saints. He knows just what we need. He knows what we can handle. He knows what would break us. He knows, get this, what, 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 what it takes for us to get to the next level. Glory to God. Hear me. We will never become strong in God if we don't exercise our faith. Glory to God. And so God allows us, get this, to go through the trials of life to cause us to press into him. Glory to God. To cause us to release our faith. Get this. To take us from glory to glory. But understand this. That from every mountain to mountain, there's valleys. There's low places that, that we have to go through. Get this. To get to the high places in God. Glory to God. I speak release today, saints of God. The frustration that you, you're enduring, hear me, 
is because the enemy, get this, desires to sift you as wheat. Glory to God. And he has you, as so many people, busy, 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 and they feel like they're not accomplishing things. Things are not happening as fast as they want. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But this word, get this, is said here in the in the 31st verse of uh, the 40th chapter of Isaiah, but they that wait. This is not for everybody. This is only for people, hear me, that's in the posture of expectancy. When you're waiting on something and you're looking for something to happen, you 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 in a posture, the Bible said with uh, uh the expectancy or the waiting, get this, this means to, to have a head outstretched. That means you leaning forward, you expecting something to happen any moment. Glory to God. Hear me. Glory to God. And if we don't expect something, get this, our hope is not there. Glory to God. When a child uh, asks uh, a mother or father when they go to the store and they ask a child, baby, what do you want from the store? This and that. I say, mama, can, will you give me some candy? That child, get this, has faith that that parent is going to bring back what they're asking for. Glory to God. And this is where, hear me. We, as the people or the children of the Most High God, should have childlike faith. That whatever we ask according to the will of God, we know that he hears us. Get this. Even Jesus, get this. When he goes to uh, raise Lazarus from the dead, he already knew that this man was dead. He lifted his hands and said, Father, I thank you that you've al always heard me. Glory to God. That's all he said. Then he tells them, to remove the stone, roll the stone away. Get this. And then he called Lazarus by name. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Get this. And so Lazarus, come forth. Glory to God. And he came out. He was bouncing, had all the grave clothes. And he, the Lord said this, told the grave clothes to loose him and let him go. Hear me. That when God bring you out, you're not going to have anything of the past. Glory to God. That would try to hold you in, the bond, in bondage. Glory to God. Hear me. But there's a waiting period. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's a time. There's a time and a season. Glory to God. And understand, get this. The Bible said, uh, Galatians 6 and 9, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And the reason why many people, get this, are not reaping is because they're fainting. Do you realize you could be just one day away from your breakthrough on tomorrow? Glory to God. So many people, get this, were right there at the door, and because they seemingly couldn't bear no more, they turned away from it. Glory to God. Hear me. If you are in the middle, get this. Hear me. Why go back when backwards, get this, is the same distance to your blessing if you keep moving forward? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And who knows? The Lord may supernaturally uh, uh, expedite and move you into that place. Get this before you know it. Hallelujah. But you got to wait on him. Glory to God. Waiting on him means to serve him. Glory to God. And what do, what do, what, what do people do? When we go to a restaurant, they call waiters and waitresses. Glory to God. Hear me. They, they, they're at the table to wait on you. And that's what God wants. He wants us at his table asking him, Lord, what would thou have me to do? Glory to God. Hear me. Stop asking God what, uh, 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 what, uh, uh, telling God what you want him to do and lacks him, Lord, what would thou have me to do? Glory to God. Hear me. So many times, get this, we want the blessing, but we don't want to put in the work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we put in the work, saints of God, it releases the favor. Glory to God. When we do the work for God, hear me, not doing it with strings attached, but doing it because we love God. Hear me. Glory to God. God is able to release those blessings of favor. Glory to God, because he's able to trust you. Hallelujah. Like even with tithes and offering. Get this. Uncle Sam don't trust us, so it takes the taxes out before we even see it. But God is giving us the opportunity. Amen. Hear me. I don't give tithes. Get this. To be blessed, I give tithes because I am blessed. And hear me. And by me giving tithes, hear me. I'm stating that I'm in covenant with the true and living God. Glory to God. Some people say, well, I can't afford tithes. Listen here. I can't afford not to give them. Glory to God. Because first of all, they don't belong to us in the first place. Whenever hear me, we give our tithes and our offering, we're stating, Father, I thank you for doing something. Glory to God. That I know that no one else could do but you. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whatever you wait on, saints of God, hear me. Keep on trusting God. Glory to God. Make sure you're in the right place. Glory to God. The, the, the worst thing you could ever do is be waiting on someone in the wrong place. Glory to God. Well, I thought you said you was going to meet me over there. No, I told you to meet me here at such and such time. Get this. And our problem, saints of God, hear me. We have a problem with time. Many of us are always late. Glory to God. I'd rather be early than to be late. Oh, God, help me. Glory to God. Because if I'm early, I know that I'm in, already in position that any moment that he going to come by. Glory to God. Zacchaeus, let's check this out. Zacchaeus, get this, couldn't see Jesus because of the press. Hear me. Don't let everyone hear me. Don't let your worry or your stress blind you to what God is doing. Even when you can't see God moving, hear me. God is still moving behind the scenes. Come here, a, uh, 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 Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Get this. When uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar said, who is this God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Get this. God never said anything in this chapter. Glory to God. Daniel, the third chapter. When Shadrach, Meshach, and, and Abednego was being cast into the fiery furnace, God never said one word. Get this. But it didn't mean that he wasn't there. He was there. Sometimes, get this, God wants oh, shut up, wants us to make a boast in him and of him. Glory to God. So people can see, they see, they think they're fighting against you, but they're not fighting against you. They're fighting against God. Glory to God. And I know a lot of people finna, finna, finna uh, say something about this, what I'm finna say. Hear me. Dante Wilder, the, bra the bronze bomber, had told Tyson Fury that he was going to beat him. And he said, uh, uh, he had, had an alter ego, uh, an angel, a spirit of old, whatever he wanted to call it. And Tyson Fury tells him this. He said, I don't, I don't believe in that. He said, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. He said, he's all I need. And then Tyson Fury said this, my God against your God. Get this. I'm talking about the second fight. Get this. Whenever someone challenged God, you can rest assured. That God is going to knock them down. Glory to God. Hear me. Tyson Fury. Uh, 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 um, Dante Wilder. He pops Tyson Fury. Get this. And knocks him out. And Dante Wilder is over doing a dance. And just knowing that he had won the fight. But get this. As the referee is counting Tyson Fury out. Get this. Some kind of way supernaturally. He just wakes up and then he rises up. And then Dante Wilder looks at him like, man, what? it got to be God. God got to be real. Hear me. And so get this. Sometimes God has to allow you to go through some things. Hear me. To let the enemy know that you're his, you're his, you're his man, you're his woman, you're his servant, you're his child. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't ever feel like God has left you because of what you're going through now. God allowed us to go through a place of discomfort. Get this. A place of straining. Get this. So he can stretch out in us. A place of discomfort to, to get this to increase our faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If we just keep on waiting on him, saints of God, hear me. When God is pleased, he always give a great tip, a great blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's what a, a waiter and waitress, they give you good quality service and that's what they expect. Glory to God. Why? Because they depend on the tip, the blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so get this. And then when they bless, they are grateful. Glory to God. So saints of God, hear me. God is releasing blessings and releasing favor over our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He wants us to wait on him. Get this in the posture of prayer and fasting. Glory to God. Looting and violence in the street. That's not that's that's the work of the enemy. Get this. Two wrongs don't make a right. We as the church, get this. Get this. We stand against racism on all levels. No matter what color, black, white, Hispanic, red, yellow, blue, pink, it doesn't matter. It's a spirit. Glory to God that get this, that try to make people feel inferior and another to feel, get this, 
superior. Glory to God. When in the eyes of God, there's no big use, big eyes and little use. Everybody is somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'd rather get this. Be on the side of the Lord any day than to stand on the side of man. Hallelujah. Because get this. I realize what so many people are doing, saints of God. Hear me. We are not being led of God. And we have to pray and ask God to direct us. Yes, we need peaceful protesting and stand against it. But some of these people, this violence, get this. Those people have been demonically placed in position to stir up a ruckus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God be exalted. Hallelujah. God is God all by himself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let, no one else can take God's glory. Hallelujah. But saints of God, hear me. If we don't come together as a nation in our hearts, only through God, we won't be able to stand and make it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we need healing, inner healing. Glory to God. And I'm going to get ready to close. Glory to God. Glory to God. You got to understand that just like this, when, um, you know, around Thanksgiving, uh, holidays, you know, many times people, they, they uh, uh, bake a turkey. Glory to God. And in that turkey, get this, it has what you call a, a, a pop-up. This pop-up has to go deep inside of the turkey. And what it's used for is when the turkey is cooking, when it reaches a certain temperature on the inside that's fully cooked, it pops up on the outside. Glory to God. And when the when and when the if the turkey is not fully cooked, saints of God, it has to stay in there. Glory to God. Because get this, if you eat any kind of poultry that's not fully cooked, you can easily get salmonella, salmonella or some kind of food poisoning. Glory to God. And you have to make sure it's fully cooked. Why? It kills all the contaminants or the bacteria. Glory to God. That that uh, meat may carry. Hear me. When the inner core is done. Hear me. You take it out. It's ready to eat. Glory to God. And hear me. Many of us get this. Are waiting on God. Hear me. To just pop up and to bless us. And to give us the desires of our heart. But hear me. God knows we're not ready. We're not ready. Because get this, God refuses to bless us in a premature state. Why? Because he can do more damage than good. Just like if I was to give the keys to my Mustang to my, my five-year-old daughter and tell her, here, hop in and just drive to the store. You rest assured she's going to wreck when she first get in it. Why? Because she is not mature and has no true knowledge of how to drive a vehicle. Glory to God. But when she become of age and has properly been taught, glory to God, and demonstrated, get this, trustworthiness, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our problem, saints of God, is that we don't know how to wait and we don't want to listen to what God is saying, glory to God. God is speaking loud and clear with all this ruckus that's going on, saints of God, in our nation, glory to God, hear me. I told my wife, my heart is so grieved, grieved because I can feel the spirit of God grieved. Glory to God. God is crying out for his people, the church to rise up. Glory to God. And get this. And I'm going to say this. And I was going to talk about this. You'd be surprised how many people in the church, but they lost. Lost in the church. Because they don't know their purpose. Going to church, get this, looking for man to give them their identity. Man can't, only God can. And God, hear me, and the only way you can find out who you are, hear me, is by getting before your father, your spiritual, your heavenly father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Knowing him so you can know yourself. Glory to God. Because he will teach you, he will train you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Get this, and I, I, people say experience is the best teacher. Experience is a good teacher, but some things, hear me, we shouldn't have to experience if someone else have been down that road. Glory to God. If it's going to cause hurt, harm, and danger, we shouldn't have to face it. Glory to God. If we just take heed and listen. But our problem, get this, 
we think we already know. Glory to God. A lot of people in the church, get this, hardest people to preach to are church folks because they think they already know. When the pastor says something, you ain't God, this and that, but hear me. When you have a true man or woman of God that's covering your soul and, and feeding you, get this, from the table of God, hear me, you ought to be grateful. Glory to God. Glory to God. You'd be surprised how many leaders that's out here in this world today manipulating God's people and fleecing God's sheep. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Not concerned about souls, but concerned about the dollar. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't want to offend nobody. Because they don't want the tithes to go down, the offering to go down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But hear me. I'd rather have God please any day over man. Glory to God. Because when this life is over, I'm going to have to give account to God. And I want him to say, well done, a good and faithful servant. For thou has been faithful over a few things. Come on, saints of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wherever we have fallen short. Let's ask God to have mercy upon us and forgive us. Glory to God. And if you fall in saints, well, get back up, dust yourself off and get up. Glory to God. Stop wallowing in the mud and in the, in the dirt. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And hear me. And so many times you hear people saying, oh, you can't judge me. Get this. Whenever you speak in truth, that's the first thing that people want to say. You can't judge me. Listen. We're not judging nobody, but it's in God's word. But our assignment is to warn people. Glory to God. But hear me. How can we warn them if we ourselves is not in the right position or right standing with God? Glory to God. Now's the time, saints of God, where we take our walk with God very serious. Glory to God. Hear me. Because we're living in uncertain times. The only thing sure is God's word. Glory to God. And if we're not on the firm foundation, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we're not going to make it. Men's hearts are failing him because failing them because what's coming up on the earth, saints of God, this is just the beginning. Glory to God. We need a Holy Ghost revival. We need God to change. We need God to turn things around. We need people saved. Glory to God. We're going to cover our, our young men. Glory to God. Our men, period. We're going to cover black, white, Hispanic. Glory to God. Chinese age. It doesn't matter. All men. Glory to God. Because this is the assignment of the enemy. Get this. To destroy mankind. Hear me. He used division. And then jealousy and all kind of strife and different things. Get this. These are weapons of the enemy. Get this. The Bible said perfect love cast out fear. Glory to God. Love's cover covers a multitude of sin. Amen. No matter what it seems like now, God has it all under control. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I find myself, get this, when I feel like, I'm getting overwhelmed and, and people begin to get on my nerves. I pull back. I pull back and say, Lord, help me. Glory to God. Why? Because the enemy is just steady sifting you, sifting you, sifting you to drain you, to cause you to do something or, or react in such a way where people will call your, uh, your calling or your salvation in check. Amen. Glory to God. But we all are human. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we need God to move. We need God to move, saints of God. Glory to God. I don't care whatever you're going through. Keep waiting on God. I don't care what it looks like. Keep waiting on God. I don't care whatever is coming against you. Hear me. Keep waiting on God. Hallelujah. Because any day now, God is going to do what he promised. Hear me. I'm not talking about a new house. I'm not talking about a new car. I'm talking about there's a spiritual grace that God wants to release unto us, saints of God, that causes us to come into our calling. Glory to God. Because people need what God has put in you. Glory to God. And that's why you feel the pressing in the heaviness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the enemy trying to suppress you. Glory to God. But God knows that once the enemy push you down so much, get this, that you will rise up when you cry out unto him. Glory to God. And this time, saints of God, that we rise up. We fall on our faces. We fall on our knees. That we, we cry out for more of God. We cry out for revival upon this nation, yea, even the world. We need God to move like never before. Glory to God. Hear me. 
I trust him and confidence cannot lie in man. It has to be in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because God's word is true. Hallelujah. And we just praise him. Glory to God. Saints of God, I just want you to be blessed in God and keep waiting on God. Because God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. But what God said, that will he do. He will make it good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I never forget, I went through a very dark place in my life, as I said before, saints of God. And if somebody would have told me that I would be at this place today where I am in my walk with God, I wouldn't believe it. Glory to God. But hear me. God has to allow us sometimes to go down before he takes us up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because when you're broken, saints of God, hear me. You got to be careful who handle you. Because everybody can't touch you. Glory to God when you're broken. Hallelujah. You need sensitive hands. You need people who they're there genuinely because they love you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So many of us get this. Have been let down by leaders in church or someone in the church saying, you've got to forgive them and let it go. Get this. Your salvation is not based on them. It's your relationship with God. Glory to God. And people have to stop using. Well, I will go to church, but church ain't nothing but hypocrites saying, you've got that's just a cop out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you saying that there's a bunch of hypocrites, why don't you come and show people how to live right? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All of us, we need each other, saints of God. Keep waiting on God. Glory to God. He will strengthen your heart. He will renew your strength. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I love it what it says about the eagle. That mount up on wings as eagles. Get this. Think about an eagle. There comes a season and a time in an eagle's life. Get this. Where he flies up into a high place. Glory to God. Hear me. And he plucks his feathers. Glory to God. He plucks his claws from his feet. And then he beats his beak against a rock. And he has to stay there. Glory to God. To the time, get this, his wings begin to grow again. His feathers begin to grow again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He grows a new beak and he grows, grows fresh claws. Get this. It adds years to his life. And get this, he's able now to fly higher than ever before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, sometimes, get this, it's not about being around folks, saints of God. It's who you are when you get before God in that secret place, in that closet, just waiting on him. Sometimes it's not even a, what you have to say. It's just waiting on being, being still and knowing that he's God. Hallelujah. And just allow him to minister to you and speak to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just love just getting instilled in his presence, saints of God, how it just ministered to you without saying a word. Glory to God. He already knows what you're going through. He already knows what you're in need of and just want you just to come into his presence so he can restore you, so he can renew your strength. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So many times, hear me. We're doing everything for everyone else that we lose our own identity. In God. Glory to God. Always take time for yourself. A woman that's married, have time for, get this, have time for God. Have time for your husband. If you got children, have time for children. Then have time for yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's balance. Glory to God. Because what has happened, we wear ourselves out because people requiring so much of us. Hear me. But you can't give what you ain't got. And that's what causes us to become frustrated, irritated, aggravated. Hear me, because we're tired. We need God to renew us. We need God to replenish us. We need God to restore us. David said this. He said, create in me a clean heart and renew within me a right spirit. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Get this. You can keep doing something for so long that you, you, you lose your joy in doing it. Glory to God. And that's why you see pastors and leaders getting burned out because who are there for them? Because they're always giving out. But who's there to give back? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Saints of God, God loves you. 
Glory to God, right where you are, just lift your hands. Father, I thank you even now. Holy Spirit, just move. Touch right now. I come against stress. I come against frustration. I come against migraines right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we wait on you. Speak to us, O oh God. Touch us right now. Be exalted. Lord, we thank you that we will never be the same. Father God, I thank you for lifting the heavy burdens right now. We cast all our cares upon you, for you care it for us, O oh God. Speak, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, God. We love you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for keeping us, O oh God, that we won't be burned out. Hallelujah. Won't be stressed out. Won't worry, won't fear, won't doubt. But we thank you for this calm assurance that we have and confidence we have in you, O oh God, that everything right now is well and working together for our good. Lord, be exalted, be magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Saints of God, we love you. Have a blessed day in the Lord. And remember, God's got your back. And keep waiting on God. Because God is up to something good. In the midst, hear me. In the midst of calamity, God will arise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God will get the glory out of this. Glory to God. If the people of God will rise up and pray and fast, amen, and love, watch God move like never before. Glory to God. Saints of God, have a blessed evening. God bless you and keep you as my prayer. Amen. We love you all. Holding you all up in God's, God's, God's will, saints of God. Be blessed. Amen.